I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. I'm Son. Welcome to Vetso, the DJ Project, episode 74. So this week at the NJ Projects, it's going to be driveways galore. We've got two grabs on it because we've got two driveways to do. This one and this one. We have got plenty of grab work on. We've got plenty of deliveries. And you know your boys on the concrete side are smashing it as always. Jamie's making gates galore and specials all day, all week, every day. Apart from Saturday and Sunday. And the ladies in the office are doing what they do best, bringing the work in. But with that said, I hope you enjoy this episode. So before we jump into anything, guys, just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone that watched Sunday's video and has shown us support on that video. Very much do appreciate that. It does mean the world to me and my dad when you guys show that support. If we could set a like goal on this video, because it's been a few weeks, maybe even a month since we set a like goal for a video. If we could set one for this video and it's going to be 4,000 4, likes. Come on. Likes. Let's hit them likes. Yeah, if we That's could nothing. do... <laughs> it does cost nothing and something else that costs nothing guys is a subscribe if you could subscribe to our channel we would very much appreciate it let's keep growing those subscribers and we'll pay back the love we're making these videos yes hopefully it's a fair trade <laughs> so what are we doing to these drives you may ask well, i'm going to show you they're having tarmac again there's not a lot happening with them they're having tarmac again as you can see the tarmac is worn out it's old it's perished it's cracking so what we're doing we're ripping it all out and starting again we are putting i'll check on this because it was a while since the query yet i believe we're putting eco drains across this one we're not putting a pin curb we're putting a pin curb i mean by pin curb i mean an edging stone on the up next doors so i'll show you that in a minute but that's basically what we're doing on this one and does anyone recognize this the concrete job there's going to be a new curb stone up there or pin curb is it pin curb or curbstone? I know Justin Bickwright calls them pin curbs and the council call them pin curbs. We call them edgings. So yeah, a new edging or pin curb there. And then this one is complete. Just re it. Same. Reason there's going to be a new curb there is because this wall and this pillar has been rebuilt, as you can probably tell from that one there. And this wall got pushed over to give more access for when reversing out. And then on to the next one. And what I've got you, I love trains. Who says that? Who says that? Comment down below, guys. On to the next one. A little bit more is happening on this one. We're putting new pin curves or edging stones, whatever you call them, along here. Down the far end, we're putting new eco drainage in. And we're building this one up a little bit because I believe it was an extension or the garage was done after. And that's why it's sunken. This is the whole reason why we're doing this one. Having a new curb stone in there. I know demarcation at the minute, but we've done about redoing this section here and you don't want to disturb this lovely new drive once we've done it so we're going to put a pin curb in there we're putting new eco drains in along here we're going to come back up to high where it's meant to be this is the bit that needs a bit of stone in it we don't know what's underneath it until we start digging out but yeah really really simple he's having tarmac back in its place exactly the same we're going to work to the same level same force because everything works and that brings me onto the digger this video is sponsored by frank keys tool hire yeah. Yeah, a big shout out to Frankie's for sponsoring this video and dropping off this free ton digger for us. We would not be able to do this job without a digger of this size. Yes, we do have a mini digger, but, but it's in the name, guys. It's mini micro digger. This is the sort of beast that you need, and it's a proper beast. We'll get on to what Frankie's do with a tool hire a little bit later. But first, we need to start cracking on. So like Steve mentioned, let's say a massive thank you to Frankie's for basically sponsoring this video and supplying us with this lovely machine this 2.7 ton digger with a selection of buckets what we're going to do we are going to put this two foot bucket on it's got a nice quick hitch on it it's really really nice machine i bet it's low hours it's the kind of machine i would like ourselves yeah it's a lovely machine we hired one of these when we did the 85 bay job and it was absolutely beautiful machine to drive i really like bobcat they're really really expensive but i like them so what we're we doing we're going to cut a little triangle there get the pick make a start and then start peeling it back with a digger so we'll do that and watch us change the bucket and then we'll start digging out i think it's on to me that you ain't coming back 
I've lost my chance to see us find our way back. And in the end, amidst these trying times, I'll always try to find you. I'll lie to you to find the truth that you hold back. So stay. There we have it, that's what we're doing. We're gonna to have to drag a lot of this out because it's just clay under it. So we're gonna be dragging this off, stoning it up. What you see me doing, I'm like rolling it over to break it into small bits. Keep on smashing it up. I'll keep it like that and I'll keep on putting the blade or the teeth into it and smash it on smaller bits because as you can see, it's really tight up there. And then I'll keep on rolling it and rolling it and rolling until we get to the top of the drive. But yeah, looking at this, this sub base it's only a couple of inch thick that looks like sand so yeah we'll have to pull a lot of this off and restone up but yeah we're just going to get a drink now and then we'll crack on There's another drive underneath this one. So this has got to come up as well. It starts around about here. Jordan's just grabbing that, buddy. Jordan's just grabbing that. We'll stick you over here so you can watch him. Nearly all that first layer's off now. Jordan's just gonna grab that and then we're gonna go back over it and start pulling up this second layer. Yeah, it's going really, really well. If you're wondering where Stevie and Ant are, they've gone to do another grab and they're gonna join us a little bit later on. But yeah, let's watch Jordan grab this on. There you can see, we're contending with them wires again. We love it, absolutely love it. We will not be defeated at D&J Projects. 
as mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by our good friends at Frank Key's Tool and Plant Hire. As you already know, we've got a digger from them, but let's see what else they do on the website. So let's head over to the website and have a look for ourselves. It's a nice, easy to use website. They do compressors, diggers, dumpers, rollers, skid steers, track barrows, water bowsers, even small tools. So let's just click on one. So let's say one day we need a dumper for one of our jobs coming up. They do a one ton and three ton dumper. You can go from one day's hire, two days hire, week, weekend, whatever your needs must. It's a really easy, simple to use website. So go and give them fellas a try. It's Frank Keys Plant and Tool Hire. Links will be in the description below. Had a good day today. Got all that out. Just that little bit there to get out. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to scrape this down here with a digger, part of the digger up for the night. George is just going to move back. No, he's not going to pull forward. George is just pulling forward. I'm going to bring the digger down, put the buckets down there, and then come back and just blade this back, and then we're done for the day. There we have it. Just that little tiny bit to take out tomorrow and then we'll start next door. But yeah, that's another day at D and J. We'll see you in the morning. We're gonna pull some of this stone off and this clay soil underneath. So we've got a nice foundation and then we're gonna build it back up with stone. We can see where the existing was before. And then we're gonna take the remainder of that tarmac when we get up to it. The reason why I'm not taking that tarmac out yet until I've dragged all this out 
is so Jordan has got somewhere to grab and a nice hard standing to grab on. So yeah, let's get this digger. Frank Keys kindly supplied for us. Started up, warmed up, get a quick grease and we'll get cracking. As you've seen by the time lapse, we've dragged the stone off. I don't know whether to save the stone. It's a bit, it's got a bit of soil in it, so I probably won't we'll use fresh stone. Now nah, we're gonna drag another six inch off this. We've done it on that top end. For some reason it's really, really deep there. So, and we've dragged a load of clay stuff out of there. So now, from where I am now, in fact, I'll spin your eyes here. Where I've started here, we're gonna drag another six inch off all the way through to that tarmac. Drag that tarmac up. Steve is bringing some roadstone out, some line pins, some string lines, some rakes, and we're gonna get this one all stoned up. You can see it was up to that level there. So another six inch, that'd be a foot down, that's plenty. You can see it's already six inch on the brickwork, but we'll have to string a line up. It was up to here before. It was up to there. So another six inch on that, we're absolutely fine. Jordan's just measuring this to see if it'll fit on our trailer. Yeah. Oh, it's happy look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a job for it or something? Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that'll fit on our trailer. So we'll tow it back to our yard, have a, have a practice with that. Let's uh, drag this out. Stevie should be here about 12-ish, half 12. We'll get this one stoned up, Ant's coming with him. And then we'll move on to the next one and get that to the same spec we're at this one. Edgings, put edgings in. ACOs tomorrow. We'll probably pull these ACOs out today. It falls, all falls into that. We've got, it looks like the garage rainfall falls into it as well. But yeah, we'll investigate a little bit, see what that is down there, see if it's got a P trap on it, and see what we can do with that. But yeah, looks like we're on a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Yeah. Is it my cup? Because I, I like trains. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get this cup of coffee and we'll crack on again.
So we have it, we're all dug out, it's waiting now for Stevie with a stone. We haven't taken out along that edge yet because the digger will be going up and down, just got to put some edgings in there. So yeah, I think we'll have a quick bite to eat, wait for Stevie to get here, and then we'll start putting some stone in. We'll put the stone in first, and then we'll do all the ACOs and edgings in after. Just so this customer is nice and flat, and they're walking on clean stone instead of mud. So yeah, let's get some stuff. So we've had some snap now. Stevie and Ant braced us with their presents. Just gonna fill barrows now. We're setting the string lines up and then we're gonna run the stone in. I look at people and I wonder all day Who are you and you are not the one in your way Ooh, that was lucky I nearly hit my phone. Hit the tripod leg with the blade. Whoa, whoa. nearly another phone. I'm a pretty boss, we're gonna lose your brain waste. I'm a freak in the sheets, but I got class. I'm a grab an ass if you want it. Best you ever had, and give it to you. All the stone has been whacked now. We took the string lines up. What we're going to do, put the string lines back down and see if it wants any stone underneath just to bring them final levels up. We've taken the ACOs out. So what we're going to do, we're going to extend that pipe up into the ACO. These run into the ACO as well. Exactly the same as it was before, but it's going to be higher. It's going to be up to the lip of the door. There's still going to be a little tiny gap down there like it was with the existing. Yeah, it's coming on. There's going to be an edging stone or two edging stones running along there just past the wall to the end of the wall. But it finishes nicely here. Just so if he does take that out, he's not going to disturb his drive. Let's straighten them edgings up up there. Just straighten them up. But yeah, we're just getting rid of that stone that's on the hack because we need it for next door anyway. Jordan's just chucked the ACOs on the back of Mighty White. Ant's looking pretty as always. It's probably going to end up being in the way in a minute. Ant's going to wrap all the tools up and put all the tools away because the nut time is, well, it's going to be about half past three. Half an hour to get back, so we'll probably load the vans up. So yeah, it's coming on. So just stick you on a time lapse. Watch Stevie unload. Mm -hmm. Another day at D and J. We've swept the floor. We've got stone already. All the string lines are in. We're all prepped up, ready for the morning. Yeah, I know you don't like being swung around, but the floor is all swept, nice and clean, and all ready for the morning. So that's another day at D and J. We'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Morning, and welcome back to the driveway jobs. On the other one now, diggers here. Jordan just still sort that out so we can start digging out and then Jordan's going to be putting the edgings in the next door. I'm going to start ripping this out. Steve and Ant are on the way. They just have to do a quick grab and some quotes before they get here. But yeah, let's get this one ripped out.
So we've just had a little bit of snap, a little tiny break with a cup of tea. A cup of coffee, black coffee, I'm on in a minute. Back on black coffee. George just watched a little bit of the video, the video is live. But yeah, I'm gonna start barring a bit more up the top, get it grabbed on. The ladies brought us out a little drink. And when I say little, I ain't got big hands. Because <laughs> I had hands hand. <laughs> Thank you very much, we do appreciate this. I did say I was dieting. But that last little bit now to take out, it's coming out really nice. We're taking it nice and slow, just let me show you why. You see that on the camera? There's a wire all the way along there. But we're past that now, we're just up there. Stevie's been loaded, I don't know if you've seen that in the time lapse. Them lads are just around next door putting the echoes in. Stevie's got his normal position like his uh, supervising. I've <laughs> just caught him. <laughs> Not when I was videoing. Right, and we'll just get cracked on. We've just had a drink, mate. This drive's all bladed off with the digger. I'm gonna get a whack now and then put string lines on it and see what levels are like. But yeah, don't look too bad looking at the existing. And it used to work anyway. You always fall into that drain, which is hard to believe. But yeah, I'm gonna get this on a whack. The lads are just doing the post. Can you see them? Just up there doing that post. And Jordan's putting the ACOs in. I'll show you that in a minute. So we're all cleaned up, swept up on the road. Just wants a bit of a wash down. We'll do that before we leave. That drive is all dug out. Just got to put string lines on that to check levels, make sure that's all right. And this drive is coming along nicely. The ACO's in, the edging's in along there. Yeah, it's at the right height now. Tapped in to that. Just needs to get a cover for that. That was a leaf trap. Straighten the edging's up, up there. And we've just got edging to put along that front and do the levels on this one. This one wants a bit more stone in it. But with that said, it's another day at D&J. We'll see you in the morning. Well, some of you may be asking why we're digging out an echo drain that we put in yesterday. Well, if you look at the actual garage floor, there's like a dip in the center so you can see that the echo is level over pretty much majority and then that echo in the center there probably a smidgen higher so the customers asked if we'll be able to do it a different way and go to the very lowest point there and then run it down so rather than the echo being level with that top of the drive and that top of the drive you won't see echo a little bit lower 
so we've done exactly what the customer has asked and dropped the ACO so rainwater 100% falls into this ACO drain. So as you can see guys, we've been busy. I've been using the digger now, using the rakes, shovels, barrows, just to get some of this stone into the high levels. You can see where we've put it all down there. We've got 70 mil, all of this to the string line, 70 mil apart from this bit. That's why we're pushing it down to here. Pretty much 70 mil all the way down because that's what we need for our base layer to go on top of this. Obviously, this will be whacked and rolled anyway, guys. And then there's a string line to run up to there so then that Jord can put some edgings, a bit like these, but the new ones running across the front of the drive right there. And again, where these string lines are, we want around about 70 mil to the string line. So yeah, we're just gonna keep cracking on, guys. Sorry I haven't filmed much today. We got here late. We needed to change that, change that down there. It feels like we haven't had a productive day today. But I guess it swings around about, and sometimes it's gonna be like this. So then, it's the next day, it's Friday. Yesterday was just a crazy, crazy day. The Acos are now in at the desired height that the customer has asked for. This has been changed so the edging is down near, is, is now there rather than running across. Obviously, we'll have to redo those slabs there. I believe customers on about changing the back anyway. And then all of this stone was done, like you saw yesterday. And then you get to the top here, guys, with these edgings here. Jordan and Ant have pretty much laid these today, put a return in there. I'm not sure if we filmed this, but we put this spur post in there, done another return up, and now just waiting for that to go off. Cut a nice, neat line right there for some fresh tarmac, obviously opposite side of the curb edging. And that one is ready for tarmac. Dad is currently at the tarmac now. I'm not sure if he's filmed, if he has. You'll see it after this. But now it's time for these ACOs. Let's have a look. So whilst they were putting those edgings in there, I was digging this red it for the ACO, and this is what we're dealing with. So we've got a big clay pipe, big swan on neck that scoops into that drain there. So I'm gonna redo that basically. A fresh pipe so our ACOs can sit obviously at level i think we're going around about 10 mil lower than this garage that one's around about 20. customer wants 10 mil below this garage so yeah that's what we'll do and if dad has filmed we'll go and see what he's been up to right now well good morning it is a friday morning everyone loves a friday and guess where i am i'm at the time at yard and it's a busy one very very busy one there's one two three four five wagons in before us and what we're collecting we're collecting 15 ton of 20 mil base so 15 tons so we're getting a full load of tarmac yes my back is going to be sore tonight pulling a 15 ton i don't know if jordan will take me off he might do might have a swap round but yeah 15 ton of tarmac we'll grab this that's it we're under just caught the first one 15 more to go, 14 more to go, sorry. That's the first one, 14 more to go. The black stuff is definitely mounting up. Got about five ton on there now, another 10 to go. So here we have it, 15 ton on the back, weighing off now, let's get to the job. So we're back on site, the lads have done a splendid job. They've got all the edgings, the ACOs in, the edges at the top now, they are all in, and we're ready for tarmac. We're gonna run barrows down so far, and then when we get further enough so the grab can reach, the grab will put it in for us. We'll make your life a lot easier. I've left string lines up, just so I know my levels on this big area here. Probably when I get a little bit closer, further up there, I can take the string lines down, but just to be on the safe side, because it's a long drive to get the fall to go into that eco there, but it did work before, so it'll work this time. So yeah, let's see you on a time-lapse and get cracking. I wanna know, know, I wanna know Can we talk about, can we talk about me and you? Can we talk about, can we talk about me and you? Can we talk about, can we talk about the truth? I wanna know, know, I wanna know Can we talk about, can we talk about me and you? So 
there we have it all based up edgings are then along the front we had a little bit left so we've based this bit up as well we're going to replace that edging there and there's an edging to go from there to that wall Jordan just started putting the echoes at the other end but yeah it's gone well gone really well it looks well as well That says we're heading back to the yard now. I think we've got another job to do, just a little one on the way back. But yeah, let's go and do that other job. So then, this is a funny grab. This is the next day. This is Saturday. Me and Steve is linked up to close the video down. I did not show you the grab because it's in an awkward position. We go there all the time and there were people waiting. And by the time I got my camera out, they'll just be kicking off the horns and yeah. everything. But yeah, believe it or not, we did do the grab. We've had an amazing week this week. We've got loads done on the driveway jobs, as you'll see. We've had a fantastic sponsor of the video this week, Frank Keys. Link will be in the description below. Go and give them a follow on their Instagram and Facebook. Go and show them some love, because they've shown D&J some love. The lads in the concrete yard have absolutely smashed it this week, as always. Jordan has been on delivering, and if you do follow us on our social medias, you'll see them pictures of the deliveries. And if you're not already, follow me and steve on our personal ones because you'll see some of the stuff we get up to in the day and there's some sneaky peeks of some of the stuff we get up to on the videos as well yeah and a bit of some good news for the dedicated ones that have uh, sort of made it to the end of this video a lot of you keep asking where was i during those three weeks but there's good news i can tell you and i'm going to tell you very very soon within the next couple of videos guys so so it's yeah, positive. and it is really, really exciting news for yep. us all at DJ Projects. It means we can push forward even more. So yeah. exciting things are going to happen in the pipeline. But with that said, it's another week at DJ. Yep. We'll see you in the next one, guys. See you next week. Mm -hmm.